Okay, guys, I'm here today. Lachlan and Jairus, huge honor for me. Guys, uh, Lachlan was probably like the biggest breakthrough of the ADCC, and the ADCC just happened like one week ago, and we already have him here, so I'm super, super excited. I was just telling Lachlan that uh, I think like that was probably like one of the biggest, the best scene I ever saw in uh, any grappling tournament in my life. I was even saying that uh, I think probably like the two best scenes I ever watched was Jacaré against Roger Gracie when Jacaré broke his arm and kept going and now like you tapping everybody who was like pretty much like double of your size with the same position and nobody was expecting that so how, how does that feel? Very very good yeah yeah uh, I still can't believe it but yeah that's <laughs> no, I can imagine but uh but guys so today uh, Lachlan is gonna show us here how to do a heel hook I guess a bigger and stronger opponent. That was pretty much what he did in the ADCC, right? He got like a Kanan, Gaudio, and Mohamed. And guys, Mohamed is like 260 pounds. So that was super, super impressive. Most of them are all world champions. Gaudio is second place in the world, always a black belt. So it's really, really, really impressive. And uh, so let's do that, uh, Lachlan. And thanks so much for coming. Yeah, thank you. I, I could not pick a better time <laughs> in the here. next 10 years to have you here. So yeah. we're super excited. All right, let's get into it. Um, so I think let's, so actually for, for my, both my leg lock positions and my entries are quite different to what is the current sort of game that people play. Um, and I'll go why I think, I'll go over why I think I had much more success against the a bigger opponent. I, to be honest, in the actual leg entanglements, uh, I would do the same thing against someone bigger or, or not. But I think, but the real advantage came from the, the entries and the entries I was using. Yeah, um, and the, look, I love the. You're gonna show in the end of the video the detail you use against Mohammed, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, guys, in the end of the video, he's gonna you show the detail he used against Mohammed, which is like 260 pounds, and the, one of the best comparisons in jiu-jitsu. Have a lot of respect for him, and uh, so let, let's keep going. All right. So, the, so what, what the current uh, sort of thing that the people are playing is, is, is all generally based on inside position where we want to get butterfly and we want to get, or like if, if um, Bernardo's standing, then there might be like some sort of shin to shin where we're trying to get underneath our opponent like this. Now, when you play inside position, it's, it's great. Like you can get some really good setups from here. But the issue with that is my strongest and most powerful weapon is my ability to push away with my my foot by like having the sole of my foot attached to somewhere on on Bernardo's um, torso. Okay, as soon as I play inside positioning, I lose my strongest weapon. And if someone's big like Bernardo, he can really start to crush me. If he puts his weight down now, I'm in a lot of trouble. So the way I am approaching my my leg locks now is I'm playing much more outside positioning. I'm playing Dallahiva, I'm playing like with what we what I call K guard, like this. But you'll see at any point, if, even though Bernardo is heavy, if he puts his pressure on, I can keep him away. Yeah? At this, even someone much heavier, you've got your strongest weapon, your legs, to, to kick them away. As soon as you go inside positioning, you're gonna lose that, that ability. Okay, so um, you saw that when when my opponents were, were standing, I was playing Dallahiva, and when they were kneeling, I either go down on your knees, Bernardo. When, when they're on their knees, even though I looked like I was playing, playing butterfly, you would have seen my foot coming here. Anytime Bernardo starts trying to pressure, I've got my foot ready to, to keep him away, okay? And then I can start using like entries to come under for, for K-Guard from here. Um, I might go through a, a De La Hiva entry though, because that's the one that people seem to be uh, most excited about. I have a whole like system of entries from here, but I'm just gonna go through uh, like one pathway. Yeah, so guys, uh, Lachlan already shot one entire structure all about his heel hook systems, and it's 10 hours of content, right? Uh, yeah. Lachlan, then we're gonna be launching very, very soon, but maybe by the time you're watching, we already launched it, so make sure to check that out on bjjfanatics.com. And uh, you told me that there's like dozens of like entries and uh, yeah, yeah. details about every single if, right? If someone do, yeah. do this, do that, you, you yeah. pretty much cover everything, right? I never like that. If, I don't. I don't like if I put an instruction on that. I hate if someone's like, "Hey, uh, what about if they do this?" You know, I want to be like, right, "Okay, right. we'll just look at this section." Hey, you know, cover every single yeah, leaf. Yeah. That uh, yes. yeah, that's amazing. Well, let's keep uh, going here. I can't wait to see yeah, yeah. what you did. Okay, so uh, let's go with the. Um, we're gonna go through a De La Hiva entry. Okay, so if, I, I saw a few people doing breakdowns on this, and I'll show you some slightly extra details that uh, we can add. All right, so. 
I get my De La Hiva and I want to go to underhook De La Hiva. Now, look at my right leg here. It's here. Uh, like I keep my knee back nice and tight. It's ready to push Bernardo away in case he starts pressuring. Okay, so if Bernardo starts to pressure, I'm ready to kick him away with this leg. Okay, I'm always active with this here. Uh, I don't want to necessarily get this trapped underneath at this stage. Okay, I want it back. All right, and to get to underhook De La Hiva, so you see my I've got the the leg hooked. I'm going to grab the ankle, and then my right arm is going to reach to the back of the knee. Okay, see how I had my hook. I'm going to to get the underhook De La Hiva. I have to take my hook out. I take my hook out and I move my hips to the side. This gives it a lot of room to reach my arm underneath. And now, so one of the things I want to be worried about is Bernardo just like fleeing and running away. Okay, so at any point, I don't want to be loose and he turns and runs and I lose my control. Okay, I want to keep control here. So when I go here, I'm holding the back of the knee from the inside, not the outside. See here, he could free his knee. Whereas if I go inside, try and free your knee, it's trapped by my arm. Okay. And then I can underhook deep like this. This is really important, guys. So again, it's this is it'll start like depending on what I feel he's gonna do. If he's gonna run, I keep it a little higher so that I can trap the leg and I can shoot over into my position. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay? This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so I so I go here. Um, I'm actually gonna show a slightly different one though, because a, a lot of the time that the reaction is actually to pressure forward. Okay, like this. And this is actually bad for me if I allow this to happen. I need to keep the shin vertical. So obviously if Bernardo is running away, I'd keep the back of the knee. As soon as I sense some forward pressure, I've got my leg there, but I want to block that leg. Okay. Um, now, from here, Bernardo's, you know, trying to hold my legs in place or do whatever you would do. I'm going to put my knee on the inside like this. Okay. So if we go back, I think a lot of people, I think one of our entries uh, with Kaina, he was postured up. So I shot over like this. But if they're pressuring, you're not gonna get your foot up to the, to the hip. Hold my, hold my uh, leg here. I can't get my foot up to the hip like that. So I'm gonna block the knee, put my knee on the inside, and I jam it underneath. So it's very similar to the K guard position at the hip, but it's, this is I call this shallow K guard, okay? And my foot is on the outside of the knee, right? I connect my hands here. And what I'm trying to do is, there's a window to shoot my right leg over to the, to the far leg. Okay, and I need to keep that window open by pressuring the knee. So you see my elbow is at the ankle, my foot is at the knee, and I'll reinforce that with my other elbow. Try and turn your knee outwards, you know, out of the way, out of the way. But yeah, yeah it's very hard for him to stop me now, shooting my hips up, and then I hook the far leg. Man, that's okay. amazing. Watch this, see my hips are up. When I hook this, uh, let's just turn a little bit to face the camera, Bernardo. Uh, yeah, that way, yeah. Okay, so see that hook in front of the far leg? I use that to jam, I want to get Bernardo's knee down to the ground. So try and stay up. Okay. His knee's down. Okay. Let's turn around now. That's amazing, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here. Come under, my neck inside. Boom. And then I force his hip down. Okay. Now, there's different reactions people do here. Some people swing over and we play like you know, a battle from here. There's a whole system I have from here as well. Uh, a lot of the, what happened in the, the matches, we were fighting from, from here. So what's really good about this is Bernardo feels like his knee's free of the hips. In fact, it is free of the hips. Yeah, I, right don't, I, don't, I don't feel a yeah. bad spot yet. That's uh, why a few people like kind of commented like, oh, these guys don't know leg locks. I'm like, no, actually, I think they just didn't know my system, like, which it. is different. Because normally this you wouldn't feel in danger. Here. I got okay. it. So what I'm going to do... I'm not feeling dangerous at all, to be honest. Yeah. So all I need to do... I, I, if I can, so if I can pull the, like I'm going to pull the leg in, if I bend the knee here, so I push the toes up, try and run away. I can't. As soon as it's, it's, it's lifted like this and it's bent, you can't run away. I want to triangle my legs and then back heel very strongly, okay? Now I have the knee, okay? All I need to do is swing my hand over. Now, now I'm in a bad spot here, yeah. guys. And this is, this is where I, I got a few of my finishes from, okay? From here, right? All I've got to do now is is bridge, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just so I feel, yeah, man, yeah. this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so we wanted to add a little. I'll, I'll go to that once more, okay. and then we'll, we'll add an extra detail for something that happened against Ali. Okay, yeah. so we're here. I get my underhook De La Hiva. I free my knee on the inside, and I block. Okay, really strong pressure. Despite that, I shoot over, 
block the, block in front of the far leg, and I'm gonna drop that knee to the mat with my, with my hips. Okay, from here. If, if this is tight, I can arch my back. Yeah. This pulls the knee back in, and I lock that triangle oh, nice and tight. Look, but it's unbelievable like how safe tight. I feel here. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. But then like two seconds later, it's I'm in a yeah. huge drop. Because here, I don't expect that you're gonna find my heel. And then when you... Up. Yes, and I really love it, like how you you control kind of like on my toes, so there is no way I, I can yeah, I mean, fight the, against it, right? And this is the end of the lever, so I get the maximum leverage to bend your knee, so I know I you're not going to free yourself. Okay, I got it. Uh, a really important detail when you're catching a heel hook, you don't want the foot at your armpit. This is hard to. It's much, much it. less tight if I do that. Got it. Then I have it floating, and I elbow strike like this. Can I got feel it. that. Ah, much yeah. tighter. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Guys, one thing that I wanted to point out here that's very interesting is that uh, Lachlan has a PhD in physiotherapy about what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, knee rehab. Yeah, so. <laughs> so he knows exactly what he has to do against the person's knee, you know, because that's what that's his PhD. So that's very, very interesting that the, yeah. you were able to put together like your... My, yeah, <laughs> use, use my powers for evil, yeah. evil instead of good. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna now go. Can I go through the detail with Ali? Yeah. Yeah. Similar yeah. position, position but it was over here. So what happened? Yeah, so guys, this is the detail that he used against Mohamed Jali, like 260 pounds, IBJJF world champion, and one of the toughest guys nowadays. Like I have a lot of respect for Mohamed. Uh, every time I see him fighting, it's always like very exciting. And this is small guy. <laughs> there you go. So I did this. Oh, actually, I did a different entry, but um, we get we ended up in we end up in the same position sometimes from from my entries. Uh, there's other positions we end up in as well. But what Ali did is he sat back, so sit heavy on me here. Yes, like this. Okay. And this, you probably feel very safe here. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not, I don't think I'm in a bad spot. Yet. Guys, just to give like one side of what what I feel here in this situation. Here I don't feel dangerous. Then when Lachlan locks this leg, I would start thinking, huh, there's something here. Yeah. And then when he moves my foot there, yeah. that's like checkmate. <laughs> so this one's work. interesting because I won't actually lock my feet. So you're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I do. This is, the, I didn't even have to go full. Like it can be even um, more difficult. So I'm gonna show you what I do when it's even more difficult than Ali. Yep. Um, but it's the same. Uh, uh, sequence, I guess. So okay. essentially, like your knee is your knee is very free here. I can't even lock my feet. Yeah. All right. I'm still gonna focus on that bend of the knee because if I can push your toes up, it's hard for you to uh, to, to run away. Okay. And you're actually yeah. not trying to run. You're trying to sit on me. So I'm gonna dig your heel here. The first thing I'm gonna do, I want to get my forearm like up like this with the hand resting. So it's like uh, the bony structure of my forearm holds your weight and not my muscles. Okay. So I'm gonna lift up at the toes. And I'm gonna get to here, okay? See on my forearm now, I can hold that reasonably easily, okay? And it's actually kind of harder for you to sit back now. You noticing that? Yes. Yeah. There's cool. no way to put weight, right? All right, now, so what you won't do, I won't try to just dig here. I will miss this. In fact, you'll probably run away. Yep. But you, you, you probably feel you're gonna free yourself here. Yes, exactly. So what I need to do is swim under my arm. So not over like this. I need to swim under with my shoulder here, okay? I don't dig yet, okay, sit, sit back heavy. Now that my shoulder's here, I'm pretty much gonna face away and sit up and watch what happens. Okay. And now you're starting to lose your pressure and I swim my arm back, Ah. catch the heel. Okay. Now we're ready to, to Keep pushing out, uh, keep pushing out, yeah. just so I feel. Cool. Yeah, a lot of the time I finish with my, something else I do quite different, I often finish with my feet on the- and Right now, for example, I'm feeling it's gonna break my heel. Yeah. But if, if if I eat that pain, it's gonna to go to my knee as well. How, yeah, so, how is that? How, how okay, the mechanic yeah, so, of the yeah, breaking so, works here? I mean, it's gonna twist both. I, 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 to be honest, I don't really care which goes first. Oh, um, first. But, yeah. um, often what happens as well, so if, if I bridge here, it's like at the back of the knee. There's yeah. not much pressure on yeah. your knee yet. Yeah. But as soon as you react to this and turn a little bit, now I'm on the side of your knee. So watch this, I can make up your knee if I want. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so as soon as your knees side onto my hips, I'm pretty good to, to catch the knee. I got it. Uh, like what I feel here is that I have probably like 100 questions to ask you. <laughs> so this <laughs> video is gonna, <laughs> that, that's kind of how it goes. So this video would take probably like four hours if I start asking 
every single whiff that I have here. Yeah. What about if I use my other foot to kick? If I use this hand <laughs> to find your wrist, so yeah. you cover every yeah, yeah, yeah. single thing in the yeah. structure, right? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, super, super excited about that. As I said, I think it was the most exciting grappling thing I ever saw in a Jiu-Jitsu tournament. Lachlan showed up from Australia, nobody was expecting that. And the first match, he beat Kaina, that was the champion, over 99 kilos. Second match, he beat Patrick Gaudio, that's a second, he, he got second in the world's IBGF. He's one of the toughest guys in Jiu-Jitsu. It's that type of guy that you go compete against him, you know it's gonna be a war. And then in the third match, the match for the third place, he beat Mohamed Jali, that's a black belt, IMGGF World Champion. He weighed 260 pounds. So then the, the, this guy shows up. <laughs> and uh, so that was like uh, really amazing to watch. And congratulations also again. Thank on. you, Bernard. And thanks for coming. And guys, uh, his instruction is going to be very soon at bggfanatics.com. There is a chance by, by the time you are watching this video, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And uh, again, thanks so much. Thank you. And uh, really appreciate you coming here one week after the NCC. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, thank you, Jose. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.